Good morning, everyone. We're making it here now. Nothing too major, just here, just chilling. There's an illness going on between the last cars. Oh my god. <gasps> but now everything's fine, guys. Probably just like the flu. You know how it is. But yeah. It's the Cam Newton. Scam Newton. Like how that the attack says. <laughs> Um, he was saying that that Prescott is a game manager or or he's this, he's that. I'm like, dude, no. He's just going out there and playing and winning some football games. I know some... I'm like, why should we take seriously from a guy who was t too chicken shit from recovering his home ball during the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 50? He's a bigger coward than, I mean, whatever happened to game management with himself, right, guys? And he's he's one year older than me, and then, and he's talking trash about Dak Prescott. I'm like, oh, give me a break. Anyways, he saying that Dak Prescott's like a game manager, or like I'm like, what the fuck? So many people are just talking out of their ass, guys. You know, to sell views and everything, or sell their merch or whatever. <clears throat> but then again, I'm like, like, whatever. It's only gonna fuel the engine for the Dallas Cowboys. But yeah, alas. Nah, for me, I'm like, whatever. I'm like, like I said, why should we listen to someone who couldn't recover his own fumble during Super Bowl 50 against the Denver Broncos, right? They could have won that game if Cam would have recovered his own um, fumble and tried to make for a first down. But nope. Much of a coward, right? <laughs> and he had a meltdown when he, when the Broncos scored another touchdown. So, how about that? Yeah. Scam Newton, I wouldn't mind calling him like that, but I'd rather, I'd rather call him chicken shit for not recovering his home ball during the uh, Super Bowl 50. Yep. Now, shout out to Chris Long at former St. Louis slash Philadelphia slash New England Patriots player, retired player, um, for giving props to Dak Prescott for doing an excellent job and everything. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. A rival was giving props to Dak Prescott. Dakota Ryan Prescott. So yeah, I'm like, see, there's nothing wrong giving props to other rivals. I'm like, same thing with Jalen Hurts. Like, I give him props for fighting against us, but oh, it's the one moment. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways. And like it's pretty cool how you're getting props from from Chris Long. Yeah, pretty great. Not bad. Nothing too major, guys. Nothing a lot of video. Nothing too serious. Just here chilling. I feel great without recording every day. I'm enjoying my long ass break from recording. <clears throat> Even though I only just want to do this type of videos, like recording while walking. My neighborhood. My neighborhood is my country. Yeah. But there's this video that I really want to talk about. It's about that Karen that she was bitching at this 
chick who was talking to her one of her kids or or she was talking to someone on the phone that there, it was in Disneyland and they were saying gay okay you don't have the right to call I mean to talk to talk in Spanish and everything I'm like bitch fuck you you overgrow you overgrown size bitch she's almost big as a whale well she's big as a whale already <laughs> I know you guys are gonna be like, why are you making fun of her? Well, she was being a bitch to a chick who, well, actually, to a lady who was just minding her own business, just talking in Spanish. I'm like, there's nothing wrong. There's no official language in the United States. You can speak however you want, whichever language Spanish, English, French, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Philippine, uh, Italiano, like, Mamma mia, fix me, <laughs> Mario and shit. Yeah, and I'm like, ay, ay, ay. Karens are never gonna go away, guys. <laughs> they think to themselves they're their big shit, but they're not. I'm like, it's not like the old days where a lot of people get away with calling other people's names or racist terms or whatever but alas Karens will be Karens same thing with Darren's so on so forth yeah nothing too major with the Dallas Cowboys it's just a lot of some of the players, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen Gilmore, he just has like a flu. Same thing with Micah Parsons. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's see what happens, guys. Just can't wait for Dallas to, to kick the Buffalo Bills' ass. Speaking of Buffalo, uh, this uh, analyst, so-called analyst, ESPN said that if Josh Allen and the Bills beat the Cowboys, then Josh Allen should be in the MVP. I'm like, no, stupid, no. Fuck off. I'm like, no. Josh Allen's like a, like a, Turnover machine. And you'll see why, guys. Because here, say, Daron Blank picks off Josh Allen two times. And those two times can be like for a touchdown. You never know. Last time they're in the New York, uh, why well, actually? So the Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. So yeah. Last time when Dallas was in the New York area, New Jersey, whichever. Um, Dallas crushed the Giants 40 to nothing. So, never know, guys. Dallas might end up crushing the Bills 40 to nothing. <laughs> that would be awesome. And then beating the Dolphins like 35 to nothing. Then finally finishing the. The regular, I mean, home game against Detroit Lions, Sweet 16, 60 to nothing here, right? That'll be awesome. But anything can happen. I'm just waiting on for Jimmy Johnson to be inducted into the Ring of Honor, guys. To tell you the truth. All right, Dougie? Dougies. Yeah. If by no, I'll save that for later, guys. No, it's because I'm gonna be talking about like if by New Year's, if I don't make any videos, it's just that I'm enjoying myself, guys.
But yeah. I can't wait for it. That is to crush the bills. Hopefully 40 to nothing or 50 to nothing Dallas Cowboys. Oh, speaking of walkthroughs, by the start of the 2024 preseason next year, um, I'm going to start doing Spider-Man 2 for the GameCube. Reason, that's how I, want, I really want to start with it, guys. So that we could be like, okay, go, go. Let's go, guys. Let's go, 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 go. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait for to do that. And yes, I do have access to Spider-Man 3. But I don't have access to Spider-Man Edge of Tomorrow. Web of, Sh Web of Shadows I do have. And the other games. You know I love Spider-Man, guys. Well, in general, I love any superhero video game. Yeah. Can't wait for Dallas to kick the bill's ass. But it's like, if you say Dallas wins this Sunday. They automatically, yeah, they clinch a playoff first. I'm like, okay. No problem. Anything can happen, guys. Excuse me. Anything can happen. Can't wait for Dallas just to get this game out of the way with the victory without any major injury and get on to take on the Dolphins but obviously I mean it'll be great if Dallas doesn't lose any games in the December it'll be what 13 and 3 and if they end if they decided to win in uh, against the commanders then they'll be yeah 14 and 3 I ain't gonna imagine that Dallas wins the division, guys. It'll be the 25th division title. And franchise history. But I know a lot of Cowboy haters are gonna be like, Oh, I can't wait for Cowboys to lose in the divisional round. I'm like, it's not gonna happen, guys. Once Jimmy Johnson's in the ring of honor, all hell's gonna break loose already. I mean, there's a high chance that Dallas can win the Super Bowl. Same thing with the 49ers or any other team. But I think it's going to go down between the Cowboys and the 49ers. If Dallas beats the 49ers in the, in the NFC Conference and wins the Super Bowl, hey. Pops to the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, let's beat in the 49ers in the, in the playoffs. <clears throat> but yeah. And I know people are going to be like saying, okay, oh, but a Cowboys haven't been a great team. Yeah. Once they beat a great team, 
like you say, Dallas beats the Bills, 35 to nothing or 40 to nothing, um, they're going to be like, oh, no, because you haven't beat the Dolphins. Then when Dallas beat the Dolphins, they're going to be like, oh, no, you haven't beat the, the 49ers in the playoffs. Can't because it's raining. <laughs> And then, oh, you can repeat a dynasty. Oh, you can't do this. Oh, you can do that. Like, never understand, never ending story with those fuckers. Even if hearsay Dallas just beat the 49ers in the, in the playoffs and win the, in the Super Bowl, hey, all this season wasn't uh, thrown out the, the window. But there's one thing that, hello, kitty. Um, there's this that I saw from Dak the Attack YouTuber that he said that once every quarterback that hits in the 30s, they're going to start peaking, meaning like starting to do the golden era for a, a quarterback. That's what happened with Tom Brady with his six Super Bowls, right? No, seven Super Bowls. And... Look what happened with Peyton Manning. Two Super Bowls with two different teams. Matthew Stafford, one Super Bowl. Nick Foles with the Eagles. Um, Eli Manning. So many other great players. Drew Brees. You name it. And I'm like, amazing. But that'd be great. Dallas beating the, winning the Super Bowl. The drought has ended. Now it's time to. Now that the drought continue, I mean, reemerge. So yeah. But anything can happen, guys. Dallas might end up surprising a lot of people in this, in the season. I mean, in the postseason, it goes plus. Dallas Cowboys doesn't have to like draft a tight end anymore, or look for a backup quarterback or so. Hello, Dougie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay. Because frankly, this NFL draft, I don't believe Dallas needs to get that much players. I'm like, they could draft or trade one of their uh, picks for hearsay Derrick Henry, Patrick Sertain, and try to. Um, yeah, anything can happen. Yesterday, my uncle and I were watching Uncle Scrooge, Uncle Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> it's a cartoon. The one with Patrick Stewart, aka Charles, he's gave her, aka Captain Kirk. <gasps> the last time when I watched that movie. Dallas beat the Philadelphia Eagles, <laughs> which they did this this uh, past Sunday. So now Dallas can, like you see, beat the Bills, be 11-3. and three, And be like, okay, cool. And we'll be like, okay. Just one Dallas to win 13 games, guys, or 14. Club record, and then next year will be 15 and 2. <laughs> oh, that'll be awesome. That'll be great. 
next year 15 and 2. Another club record. And me already getting paid handsomely with YouTube. Fuck yeah. But nah. So later I'm gonna do videos on my laptop. Or my new laptop. You'll never know. Yeah, but I wanna have a new laptop, guys, instead of my old laptop. Because sometimes it's, it talks funny. I mean, it talks funny. It's funny. I mean, it's... It does turn on and everything. And I had it for, what? 12 years? But I'd rather have a new laptop where I could just be like, you know what? Hello, everyone. Where am I could hear? Hey, this is my new laptop. So you can see my sexy face. So we could be like, what's going on with this fuckers? So, so we could do reaction videos about, like, hearsay. Karens. The Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys articles. The Donald Trump or politics or games, anime, um, what else? Doggy videos, kitty videos, and kitties. Ah, oh, but anything can happen, guys. Oi. Yeah. <sighs> Anything can happen, guys. Cause you never know. So today is gonna be the last day I'm gonna watch Sailor Moon, the episode of the 90s. So, let's see how it goes. <gasps> Daggy! Have a great day. <laughs> 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 